What's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about commenting and commenting is something that shows up on our code, but it doesn't show up in the browser. It's just for like a point of reference for the editor. So maybe uh, when you came back to it or if you had to send it to your colleague or something like that, you guys could understand where certain things were. Let me give you an example. So say we have a div tag and we're going to create a wrapper. If you guys don't know what a wrapper is, We'll go to like um, SD Pro Window Cleaning.com. See how we have the body background image right here, but inside here, this is like the main content. Well, this is kind of the standard for websites nowadays. Most websites have a standard. They keep their content kind of, I mean, it's not all the way to the left, and obviously it's not all the way to the right. They keep it in the middle. So, what we want to do is we would want to create a wrapper, and I'll just call it ID. So it's easy to remember. Just like that. And the reason for commenting, commenting things out is because, well, I mean, one of the reasons is we're going to have a lot of div tags and we don't want these to be confused. And what I'm really talking about is closing div tags. Just like that, because the wrapper, for the most part, all of our content is going to go in between this opening div tag and this closing div tag. But we could have a bunch of different closing div tags throughout our page. So this is how we comment out in HTML5. You do an open and then exclamation point, two hyphens, and we'll say this is where our wrapper ends. And this will not show up in browser. And then two more hyphens to close that out, just like that. Let's save this. And let's see if this did not output. Perfect. It did not. That's what we want. We just want, where's our, we just want uh, to create a comment just for us as the developer or the web designer. But if you have one little slip up in here, say you have a space right here, and we'll save that. Now we'll reload it, and it showed up. That's not good. We didn't correctly comment it out in HTML5. So let's go back in here. Let's give it the space, or let's uh, delete the space, save it, and we'll return it. And there it is. It's gone. So in the next video, we will make a wrapper. We'll have this set up so this starts. This isn't pushed all the way to the left. It's in the middle of the screen. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. See you guys in the next video.